Four categories of people according to the Bible were raptured into heaven. Two of these four never tasted death. The other two tasted death and resurrected again, and were raptured into heaven. The first of these four, was Enoch. Enoch dwell among a generation full of wickedness and ungodly acts, nevertheless, he purposed in his heart to walk faithfully with the living God. This deed caused him to weave the attention of the living God, as the scripture tells us in Psalms 101 verse 6, Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me, he that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. The scripture was confirmed in the life of Enoch, the prophet of God. The Bible says, that he may dwell with me. Since the Lord cannot break his promise nor alter that which is gone out of his mouth, he was committed by his integrity to fulfill his promise, hence he raptured Enoch to join him in his glory, as written in Genesis 5 verse 24, which says, And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. The second person was Elijah, the prophet of fire, the prophet of revival. A prophet who walked faithfully with the Lord in the midst of a generation overtaken and subjected by satanic acts and deeds. And the Bible says, In those days, Jezebel, the wife of Ahab, king of Israel threatened to behead him, because he beheaded all the prophets of Baal, who were subject to Jezebel. And Elijah being filled with fear, fled for his life into the wilderness and requested of the Lord to take his life. Nevertheless because, it was of the will of the Lord, to come again as the forerunner of Jesus, as John the Baptist, the Lord raptured him into heaven by horses and chariots of fire. The third of these is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God as part of his redemption plan to redeem man from the power and kingdom of darkness, in other to restore man back to his originality, he prepared a body for Jesus and sent him forth onto the earth, through a virgin called Mary. Jesus after walking on earth for 33 years, starting his ministry at age 30, suffered a predestined death in the hands of Roman soldiers, by then. Jesus freely offered himself as a ransom for man that, he might take it back again. We see this in John 10 verse 17 to 18, which says, Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself, I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. He freely laid down his life and arose from the dead on the third day, and walked on earth for forty days, being seen of five hundred people and his disciples, God raptured him into heaven on Mount Olivet. The fourth group which were raptured into heaven were the saints, who had died long ago, before Jesus manifested forth in flesh. This include David, Hezekiah, Isaiah and all the saint of old. On that, Friday of Jesus' crucifixion, the Bible tells us that when the blood of Jesus fell on the ground, the tombs of the saints broke open and they arose and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. We see this in Matthew 27 verse 50 to 53, which says Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up his ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom and the earth did quake and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves, after resurrection and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. Let imagine this, people were in their home on that day, then suddenly, their great-grandfather spoken of and read of suddenly appears in their presence. How glorious this would be! The Bible says, the bodies of the saint, who are dead. Who were these saints? David, Abraham, Jacob, Isaac and all the other saints spoken of in the Bible, who died before Jesus manifested forth in flesh. These saints after shewing forth themselves in the holy city, were raptured into heaven. 
It is important that we walk with the Lord faithfully in other to make it to heaven after our finished work on earth. Always seek the strength of the Holy Spirit to pursue a life pleasing unto Him. Amen and Amen.